hair off the back. Okay. Um, okay, so basically, I can plug the trailer in and run the lights in the refrigerator, but don't run the air off right. of the 110. Off this adapter. Off of that adapter right. there, if it's in the What kit. it is, okay. that's a 15 amp adapter. Okay. You know, it'll take you down to 15 amps. Right. So basically, that's to keep the batteries charged, and you can run the refrigerator. Right. And that's, that's about all. Okay. Okay. You never want to run the air unless you're, you're plugged. to 30 amp. 30 amp. 30 amp. Okay. Right. Now, if I were to, to buy a generator, do I get one that would run 30 amps so you can run yeah, your air? Yes. You, or I, do they make them higher I than that? I recommend for this trailer at least a 4,000 watt generator. 4,000 watt yeah. minimum. I saw a 6,500, I think, by yeah. Honda. Right. They had little wheels Actually, on it. Actually, if you it. don't buy Honda, that's one of the best portable generators there is. Okay. Yeah. Tells you your battery condition that's out there. Now, it kind of, That's a 12 volt battery. Right. Correct. I didn't actually correct. see it. It's but a yeah. marine deep yeah. cycle battery, just so like So I can charge it like on a car. Right. Now it will charge off of your truck when you're oh, going okay. down the road. Okay. I checked it. It's all on. I had to fix some of your plug. It wasn't working right. That's this what he morning. said. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but it does charge off your truck. Okay. Plus, when you're plugged to 110, it'll charge the battery. So you, you probably you never got really have to put a charger on it. No, yeah. no, you should. Unless something happens to your converter right. and the trailer, you shouldn't have to. This is your breaker box and your fuse panel. Oh, okay. Also, at night, 2 o'clock in the morning when you're trying to sleep, you're going to hear a fan kick on. It's coming from down here. That is your converter, which is what charges your battery. Um, Plus what runs, see all these lights in here are 12 up. Right. So right now, if we unhook from power, from 110, you could still run your lights, and if you had water in that tank, you could have water in the whole trailer. Because it'd be running you, you off the battery. You would have water heater on gas. Right. You could have your refrigerator running on gas. Right. As long as your battery's up. You know, your furnace would work if you needed the furnace. How long do you think a battery would run? It depends run. on what all you're running. Running lights, I mean, you can go Just easily, and easily on the weekend. Easily make it the weekend while you're here. Cool. Uh, furnace, if it's cold, you might right. not make it through the night, to be yeah. honest with you. Because yeah. it pulls a lot of juice. Now, to get in here, you're going to stick your finger in here and okay. push down. Gotcha. Because there's a little lever right here to push oh, down. Oh, okay. On. This is all your 110 breakers. Okay. Now, uh, coffee pots, toasters. You really have to watch that running in these units because you're on 30 amp service. Right. A rule of thumbs, most toasters and a little electric heaters pull about 12 and a half amps. It's just a real same thing with hair dryers. Right. You know, you're looking at 12 and a half to 15 amps. Yeah. Know? My sister blew yeah. their circuit with and, their and blow A good dryer. way to know if you really need to know how many amps something pulls, it'll tell you how many watts it is. Yeah. And you can convert watts into uh, amps. 120. Divide 120 into it. How many 120 come into it? That's how many amps you're pulling. Gotcha. You know? I mean, it's not always that case because sometimes you say this is 120, but you could be somewhere and you may get 117 votes. Whatever your voltage is coming in is what you divide it by. Gotcha. But if you go by 120, you're pretty well close right. every time to know what the amps are. Okay. All right. So, I mean, that is all your breakers. If you get anything on 110 not working, come right here and check this first. Now, all these breaker fuses here, yeah. I recommend going to the parts store, buying you a little pack of 15-amp blade yeah. fuses. 15-amp yes, blade? Yes, and one pack of 40-amp blade fuses. One pack of 40-amp blade fuses. Really, just about all of them is 15 amps. Mm -hmm. When these are blowed, I love this, because when they're blowed, there's a little red light here that'll come on to tell you that fuse is blown. Oh. And that's nice. So you don't have to trial and error. Right. But there is two 40-amp fuses here that doesn't have that red light. Okay. And let me tell you what's going to happen. I hardly ever have that problem with one that doesn't have a slide room, but usually what will happen is somebody tries to run the slide room in and the battery's dead and they've got it plugged up, it'll blow them fuses because low voltage pulls high amps. Gotcha. And uh, so, if you ever in here and you notice your lights are getting dim and dimmer and dimmer, well there's a couple things that means. Either your converters went out or one of them 40 amp fuses are blown. Okay. And 90% of the time, one of them 40 amp fuses are bought. Okay. You know? So keep your pack of 40s and a pack of 50 and you're good to go. Great. Uh, now these are labeled, uh -huh. but I'm not going to lie to you. 
sometimes are not right. <laughs> right. This is an LP detector. 